more heart vessels there are uh, with atherosclerosis, those are not tied with higher levels of PCSK9. So it's not, PCSK9 in our study doesn't tie with heart disease per se. It ties with the actual event of myocardial infarction. And, it, and uh, if you look at a historical or a past myocardial infarction, it seems that the levels come back down again, that they're the same as people who have heart disease but don't have, haven't had a heart attack. And so, you know, the, the drug companies are targeting this, this protein uh, to lower blood cholesterol, and that will definitely have a benefit for the risk of heart disease. But it may have an added benefit for the risk of heart attack that's separate or independent from its effect on lowering cholesterol. And I think that idea is, is novel, and I think that, you know, that could be, uh, you know, one of the consequences of our study. And in, in the end, it'll be good to target this protein, not just to lower cholesterol, but if it also lowers the risk of heart attack through a different mechanism, that's all good as well. So.